Hi, this is Vince Preston with Metro Mobile RV Repair, and today we're going to talk about how customers can empty their uh, gray water and black water tanks. You have you have three tanks on your RV or motorhome. You have a fresh water tank, then you have a gray water tank, which is all the water that runs through your sink, your shower, your bathroom sink, and then you have black water, which is your toilet. These lines are connected up underneath the home, and there's usually two valves one for black water and one for gray, gray water. As you can see here, this is the cap, and this cap normally will have a hose hooked to it that will go to a sewer line at an RV park or wherever the customer's parked. And uh, when a customer's got a, a unit that's telling them it's full, they usually have a diagnostic board in these things, then what, what he'll do is he'll come out here, depending on whether it's gray water or black water, and there's a valve handle. You will pull that valve handle and you will feel that system drain. After the system's drained, you want to push that handle back in. And the reason why that is, is so that, that you don't get gases from the sewer line that you're hooked up to to back back up into your, into your RV or motorhome, which is going to smell pretty bad. And plus, sometimes it could be toxic or even poison, depending on what somebody's put in their sewer. So uh, my suggestion would also be to always use uh, clean out solutions the, uh, there's all kinds of mini products that you can pour down in your in your uh, gray water and your black water tank that's going to help help break stuff up and help it flow smoothly so you don't get clogs and, and plumbing problems. Plumbing problems is one of the most expensive things on these units. It's not cheap to get fixed and if, if a valve gets clogged or, or a tank hardens up on you, you're going you're gonna to spend some money trying to get it taken care of. So my suggestion would be to, to always use the, the right solutions, uh, right liquids and chemicals in your tank so that so that you're able to just pull a valve, dump your dump your uh, your tanks and go on back to happy motoring.